Welcome to View Chem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Basics of Conformational Analysis. The concept of dihedral angle can be understood in the following manner. One plane, x plane, intersecting the other plane, y plane. The interior angle, subtended between the two intersecting planes, is called dihedral angle. Now, let us understand, the concept of dihedral angle, by considering a portion of, organic molecule. Front carbon atom. Rear carbon atom. Atom, or, group of atoms, bonded to rear carbon atom. These three are in, one plane. Rear carbon atom. Front carbon atom. And, atom, or, group of atoms, bonded to front carbon atom, are viewed, in other plane. Now, let us once again define, dihedral angle. The interior angle, subtended between the two intersecting planes, is called dihedral angle. There will be, two bonds, and, three atoms, in each plane. Let us observe, in, x, and, y, planes. x plane, including, two bonds, and, three atoms. Similarly, Y plane, including two bonds and three atoms. Now, let us view the dihedral angle in other way. X plane, front carbon atom, rear carbon atom, atom, bonded to rear carbon atom. These three are in one plane. Atom, bonded to, front carbon atom. We can visualize, rear carbon atom, front carbon atom, and, atom, bonded to, front carbon atom, in other plane. Now, we can view, the dihedral angle being, 45 degrees, and, 0 degrees. Conformational analysis, different spatial arrangements of atoms, in a molecule, which are obtained, by the rotation of, carbon-carbon single bond, are called conformations. Molecules exhibiting, different conformations, are called, conformational isomers, or, conformers. Because of rapid interconversions, conformational isomers cannot be isolated. Conformational isomers can be represented either by sawhorse projection formulae or Newman projection formulae. In the sawhorse projection, carbon carbon bond is viewed from an oblique angle. That is, a diagonal line represents the bond between two carbon atoms. It should be understood that the carbon atom, which is present at the left hand side, is nearer to the viewer, while the carbon atom on the right hand side, is away from the viewer. Atoms, or, groups attached to the carbon atoms, should be drawn, at an angle of 120 degrees. Now, let us visualize, the dihedral angle, in different conformations of a molecule, in sawhorse projection formulae. R1, front carbon atom, and, rear carbon atom, are in one plane, X plane. Front carbon atom, rear carbon atom, and, R5, are in another plane, Y plane. The interior angle, 
subtended between x and y planes is dihedral angle and in this example it is 60 degrees the conformation in which the dihedral angle between front ch bond and rear ch bond is 60 degrees is called staggered conformation in the staggered conformation there will be maximum distance between the front ch bond and rear ch bond it is the most stable conformation of all other possible conformations because of the least repulsions between the electron pairs of adjacent ch bonds now let us understand another important conformation the eclipse conformation R1, R2, and R3 are shown as red color balls, while R4, R5, and R6 are shown as blue color balls. In the staggered conformation, if the front carbon, along with its substituents, rotates by 60 degrees, the result is the formation of eclipse conformation. The dihedral angle in eclipsed conformation is 0 degrees. In the eclipsed conformation, there will be minimum distance between the front CH bond and rear CH bond. It is the most unstable conformation of all other possible conformations because of the maximum repulsions between the electron pairs of adjacent CH bonds. Any other conformation, between, staggered, and, eclipsed, is called, gauche conformation. The dihedral angle of gauche conformations, will be more than, 0 degrees, and, less than, 60 degrees. Now, let us observe, few, gauche conformations. Rotation of front carbon atom, with its substituents, by 10 degrees, in the clockwise direction, gives, a gauche conformation. In this manner, rotations of front carbon atom, with its substituents, by 10 degrees each time, in the clockwise direction, give, few, gauche conformations. Rotation, by another 10 degrees, gives, eclipse conformation. Newman projection formulae, are a type of, representation of, conformational isomers. In Newman projection formula, the molecule is viewed, through CC bond. The front carbon atom is, the proximal carbon atom, and is represented by a dot. While, the rear carbon atom is, the distal carbon atom, and is represented by a circle. Three lines, coming out from each carbon atom, at an angle of 120 degrees, represent three bonds. A molecule, in the Newman projection formula, can be viewed as Now, we are observing the staggered conformation of a molecule. The dihedral angle is, 60 degrees. In the Newman projection formulae also, in the staggered conformation, there will be maximum distance between, the front CH bond, and, the rear CH bond. It is the most stable conformation, of all other possible conformations, because of, 
least repulsions, between, the electron pairs of adjacent CH bonds. The rotation of the front carbon atom, by 60 degrees, yields eclipsed conformation. The dihedral angle, in eclipsed conformation is, 0 degrees. In the eclipsed conformation, there will be minimum distance, between the front CH bond, and, rear CH bond. It is the most unstable conformation, of all other possible conformations, because of the maximum repulsions, between the electron pairs of, adjacent CH bonds. The rotation of front carbon atom, by another 60 degrees, results in the formation of staggered conformation. Any other conformation, between, staggered, and, eclipsed, is called, gauche conformation. The dihedral angle of gauche conformations, will be more than, 0 degrees, and, less than, 60 degrees. Now, let us observe, few, gauche conformations. Rotation of front carbon atom, by 20 degrees, gives a gauche conformation. Rotation of front carbon atom, by another 20 degrees, gives one more gauche conformation. Further rotation of front carbon atom, by another 20 degrees, gives eclipsed conformation. Let us have, a quick look of, different conformations, in Sawhorse, and, Newman projection formulae, staggered. Eclipsed. Gush. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.